right, guys. Since the Nicola Bully case, and I've gathered a few more people to my subscribers on both of my channels that are in my area, or at least are in the UK, I've been doing more cases about missing people in my area. And there's been quite a few people who've said, you know, be careful out there, Michelle. Your area seems like there's a lot of people that go missing. And it seems like that to me too. So I did a little bit of uh, Googling this afternoon on uh, missing people. And it seems that the media are also pretty interested in missing people since the Nicola Bully case. So I'm going to show you two articles, one that was posted yesterday in the Lancashire Post, and that's about the number of missing people in Lancashire over the last four years. But to give that context, I'm going to show you some missing person stats for the UK overall, because the national media became interested in missing people because of Nicola Bully. The high-profile disappearance of missing mother of two Nicola Bully has cast light on the hundreds of thousands of missing persons reports received by UK police forces each year. And this article was published in February, just as Nicola Bully was found. Yesterday, 19th of February, Miss Bully's partner Paul Ansell spoke of his agony after police recovered an unidentified body near to where she first went missing. In a statement shared with Sky News, Mr Ansell said, No words right now, just agony. The 45-year-old was last seen over three weeks ago on 27th of January by the River Wyatt in St Michael's on Wyatt while walking her dog. We all know this if you've been following that case. So we know that the body was identified as Nicola. Okay. How many missing persons reports do police respond to each year? And the data is ongoing and published by the National Crime Agency's Missing Persons Unit. Police forces across the UK received almost 265,000 calls related to missing people in 2021 resulting in over 2,000 and 62,000 incidents being recorded. Some people may go missing more than once and some incidents may involve more than one person. In the 12 months to April 2021, police forces dealt with more than 128,000 individual missing adults and children in England, Wales and Scotland. The number is likely higher as data was missing for Northern Ireland and several English and Welsh police forces. Last year in England and Wales, now this is just England and Wales, 73,217 adults were reported missing, a 17.9% drop on the previous year's figures when 89,128 were reported missing. Additionally, 46,770 children were reported missing during the same period, a 28.9% decrease on the year before. In Scotland, 2,587 children were reported missing and 5,636 adults. Lancashire Police, who are responding to the Nicola Bully disappearance, were unable to provide figures for last year. However, we do have those figures now, so we'll get there in a second. And when we get there, we will be able to compare it to these figures right here. The Metropolitan Police, which is the police force in London, had the greatest number of missing individuals, with 18,821 people reported missing, so that's for last year. Followed by Greater Manchester, so that's the county next to Lancashire, next to my county, I'm right on the border, and within a mile of the Greater Manchester border from where I live. 13,398 reports. And then West Midlands with 5,778 cases. So London by far the biggest and then Greater Manchester. So there is a lot of missing people in my area. If we consider my area as being broader than Lancashire. I'm closer to the Greater Manchester border 
way more closer to the Greater Manchester border than I am to villages like St Michael's on Wire, where Nicola went missing. That's more northerly than me, about 25 miles northwest of me. Who goes missing? So this is overall in the UK, some descriptive stats. A greater proportion of men than women were recorded missing last year in England and Wales. So more than half, 53.7% were men, 44.9% were women and 0.1% were trans. The gender divide is similar elsewhere in the UK. Age group breakdown of missing cases. So we've got the greatest proportion in response to children aged 12 to 17. So a lot of that's going to be runaways who come back, isn't it? 55.5%. As incidents refer to every missing person episode, this could involve children who repeatedly go missing. So you've got to factor in that, you know, some people just keep doing it, especially adolescents. They keep running away and then being brought back and they, you know, they they add to the statistics. This is followed by 18 to 39 year olds, which is just over 26 percent. And then 40 to 59 year olds, 11 percent. Excluding missing people whose ethnicity is recorded as unknown or other, the NCA reports that 60.5% of incidents in England and Wales involve people of a white Northern European ethnicity, followed by black with 9.3%. And that's probably pretty consistent with the ethnic groups in the UK. So there's more whites go missing because there's more white people in the UK, if that makes sense. Why do people go missing? Missing persons cases are complex, but NCA dare to provide some insight into the reasons behind disappearances. Lifestyle reasons, which include relationships, drugs or alcohol, school, financial and employment factors were the main causes of missing incidents last year, representing almost 40%. Mental health was the second most common reason for missing incidents, including depression, anxiety and suicide attempts which is nearly 28%. So this is uh, a graph here. So lifestyle, nearly 40%. Mental health, migrant-related, medical, home life. Now, obviously, these statistics can only be collected after the missing person is found. And he's found alive. He's found alive to tell the story, right? Uh, the NCA has stopped publishing figures on reasons why people go missing, probably because it's really hard to collate this kind of data and it's not very accurate. So that report was from 2019-20. How many people are still missing in the UK? The lion's share of missing incidents in England and Wales are resolved within eight hours, with figures showing 47.9% of all incidents are closed between zero and eight hours, which is great news. Only 0.9% of incidents last 28 days or more. And obviously, the longer a missing person's case goes on, the more likely they are to be found deceased, or even, in a minority of cases, not found at all. Many missing people are never found, however. These are known as long-term missing people, which are defined as individuals reported missing prior to the latest reporting period who were still missing on the last day of the reported year. So last year, 11,608 people were recorded as long-term missing in the UK. In England and Wales, that's 3,704 children alongside just over 7,000 adults, as well as two whose age was unknown. Interesting. In Northern Ireland, 61 adults and children are long-term missing. Police Scotland has the second highest number of long-term missing people, which is 775. 322 of those people are classed as missing, presumed deceased at sea as a result of marine accidents, for example, vessels sinking or the 1988 Piper Alpha disaster where a North Sea oil rig exploded, then sank. Oh, I remember that. And those who are known to have entered a body of water either through accident or intentional act. The Metropolitan Police has the greatest number of long-term missing people in the UK with 6,739. So if you remember, it was just over 18,000 people were reported missing in uh, London 
So kind of match that with the long-term missing, nearly 7,000. All right, so how does this relate to my county, my county of Lancashire? So if we get back these figures, the Metropolitan Police has the greatest number of missing individuals, nearly 19,000, followed by Greater Manchester, the next county along to me, and then the West Midlands. So we now have missing persons statistics from Lancashire Police. And um, it's very interesting. And this was published yesterday in the Lancashire Post. Lancashire Police launched over 25,000 missing persons investigations in the last four years, while the number of investigations opened spiked dramatically last year with almost 8,000 reports. So it does feel like there's a lot of people that are reported missing in Lancashire. And these statistics bear this out. Figures obtained exclusively by the Post show the number of missing persons investigations opened by the Force over the last four fully recorded years from 2019. 2022 was the highest recorded with a total of 7,700 missing persons investigations launched by the force within 12 months from January to December. Now, it seems that the NSA reports goes from April to April. Uh, so the figures reported here in this article are from the 12 months to April 2021. And then it will be April 2021 to April 2022. So last year will be up to April 2022. I guess it's still a 12 months period. So it is comparable. It's just annoying. But anyway... All right, so back to Lancashire Police. 7,700 missing persons investigations launched by the force within 12 months from January to December 2022. But within the four-year period from 2019 to the end of 2022, 94 investigations tragically resulted in a person being found dead. Between 2019 and 2022, Lancashire Police conducted inquiries into a total of 25,698 incidents where people in the borough were reported as missing. In 2021, police launched 6,719 investigations, uh, 5,501 in 2020, and 5,778 in 2019. The lowest recorded month was April 2020 because we were in lockdown, <laughs> so people weren't going anywhere. Figures obtained by Lancashire Police also outlined the number of active investigations which still remain ongoing and also the number of searches that resulted in a missing person being found dead. A case is considered closed when the person is located. From 2022, there are still six active investigations related to missing people. There's also one outstanding active investigation ongoing from 2020. In 2022, the number of missing persons investigations that resulted in police sadly recovering a body was 23, 27 in 2021, 18 in 2020 and 26 in 2019. So last year, 7,700 missing people. Well, that's not as many as in London in the last recorded period from the NSA or in Greater Manchester, but it's coming in third. If these are the top three, Lancashire is coming in third. So people are right when they say to me, Michelle, it seems like there's an awful lot of missing people in your area. Well, there are. You know, if we take my area as Lancashire and Greater Manchester because I'm on the border, there are. There's more than anywhere else in England and Wales apart from London. So there you go, make of that what you will. I don't think I live in a dangerous area. Maybe people go missing for all sorts of reasons. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.